AV framework is very simple, yet powerful. It provides out-of-the-box functionality, and it enables you to set up room systems right from a web-based configuration tool, so you don't have to do any programming or custom GUI design. Now, you can also save standard room types and deploy it over the network. So whether you're doing one room, a hundred rooms, or a thousand rooms, you can do it once and then just push it out over the network. And then you can also update or, uh, or modify your system over the network as well. So you can swap out products, upload, uh, or update firmware uh, over the network. It also automatically generates touchscreen GUIs. So you get a clean, consistent, easy to use uh, user experience in every room. AV Framework is built into every DMPS3 model. So once you get all the hardware connected, you just go into the web tool and you set everything up. It couldn't be easier. Let's take a look. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through the new Crestron AV Framework. Configuration is web-based. So when we reach the landing page, we're going to go ahead and log into the system to begin configuration. When we reach the status page, you can see that the system already knows the type of device we're communicating with, as well as the associated input-output count for this particular type of device. This makes our process for configuration easier and faster. Let's start by adding some devices to our system. As you can see, the system comes pre-configured with a number of options. For the case of our demonstration, I'm going to be using a Connect It for input one. So I'm going to remove the definitions that are there by default. Let's go ahead and add some of our own devices. First thing I'd like to add to my system is an Air Media Unit. Place the model number in, as well as the associated IP ID for communication. Next, let's add an aux sensor. In this case, I'll add a Crestnet-based sensor. And I'm going to use this to tell the system to turn off after 10 minutes of inactivity. I could also use it to turn the system on or to select a default video route. You can see the system already has my touch panel defined. So let's add a DM transmitter and receiver for our system. Add a 201 in this case. And I will follow that up by adding DM RMC 4K100C. Now that we've added our devices, let's move on to our switcher configuration. Switcher provides us the ability to enable and disable inputs based on our design. In this case, we're going to use a single VGA input for a laptop connection. We'll use another HDMI input for an air media. And then we'll go about disabling the other HDMI inputs. And finally, we'll use one of the DM inputs for our transmitter connection. I'll label the inputs with friendly names so that they appear on the user interface. And in the case of the air media, I can select the device. In the case of the DM transmitter, I can select the DM transmitter. Let's move on to our output. Add my receiver. Label my output. Final step, I can change my icons. Let's say we want this to appear to be a laptop input on the touch panel. I'll leave the Crestron icon for the Air Media and provide an input selection icon for my remote transmitter. As I make changes to the system, you can see that I'm currently tracking changes. So when complete, I'll have the ability either to apply this configuration or revert to the previous configuration without any compiling or programming. I also have the ability to configure my connected unit if I'd like it to select particular inputs when the buttons are pressed, I can do so. Now that we've configured our devices, as well as the switcher itself, we'll go ahead and save our settings. 
and we can move on to the ability to apply the configuration. As you can see, I have the ability to activate configuration. By selecting this, I'll go ahead and be sending the changes I just made into the device. We'll wait a few minutes for the configuration to complete, and then we'll have an operational system. Now that my configuration is complete, I'm returned to the landing page, can log back into my unit, and I can see that my changes have taken place. Let's move to the settings, and at this point, I can download my configuration so that I can either apply this configuration to another unit or simply keep a copy of the configuration for safekeeping. I'll go ahead and download my configuration, and what you'll see is the configuration consists of XML files for many of the specific functions of the configuration. Finally, I can see my user interface. So I'm emulating my touch panel, and I can see that those selections or those creations that I've made are now reflected on the user interface with the icons and the friendly names that we created. Other functionality is built in by default. The ability to wait for a shutdown period. Microphone enable, disable, as well as volume control. So as you can see, in a matter of a few minutes, I've been able to completely configure a system, add devices, create a switcher configuration, as well as upload the unit without any compiling or programming. And that's how easy it is to use AV Framework. You can get rooms up and running, you can update them over the network, you can generate touchscreen GUIs without any programming, without any compiling. It's all just done for you right through the web-based tool. AV Framework, so simple, so powerful, so easy.